welcome. <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Okay, you air signs. All right, air signs, welcome. This is the uh, full moon reading for um, the month of uh, January 2020. Um, the timeline is between the 15th of January, but these are timeless reading. So remember, whenever you receive these reading, it is time. Hair signs, this is for the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libran. I want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel all these years and for returning. If you, um, if you are here for the first time, thank you for being here. I love you guys, and I hope you stay, and I hope you return. All right, my darlings, okay. So we're going to um, place ourselves in the present and call up Archangel Aniwell and all the moon goddess and goddesses to come in for the earth, for the air sign people. This reading is for the Aquarian, Gemini and Libra. Alrighty. So let's um, place ourselves in the present. Remember that all these readings have extended. So for your individual sign, you can go pick up the extended using the link below. Okay. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Set the notification button on. Alrighty. We're first going to be doing the sun people. I'm, I'm going to start this year putting um, the time span onto the video so that you guys know where um you the sun or moon is okay remember the sun sign people is the people who were born between 6 a.m and 6 p.m we're first going to do you then we're going to be doing the moon sign then we're going to be doing the general remember each and every one of these reading at the extended only for the gemini only for Libran, and only for um the aquarians okay so first let us look at the sun sign and see what is going to affect you um a sun sign so um as you guys know i just change i can just change up everything so let's see what's coming up for you sun sign so i'm seeing some news coming in okay this is in reverse um so i see some news coming in I'm going to be doing this a really shuffling for you guys because I've shuffled but sometimes I like to shuffle on camera I'm just guided to shuffle on camera so whatever the news is coming in I see news is coming out okay so let's see what is coming in so 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 all right so Again, it comes up. Some news is going to be coming in. All right. I shuffled. It comes up in the positive um, direction. Okay. So, all right. News is coming in. And um, it could be that you are stabbed in your back. Okay. It's the air sign. It could be news that is going to make you worry. I see you have to make a decision. Okay. And I see the energy of the magician. Now, what is happening here and um what is transpiring is that i see a lot of worries and the worries is coming up as whatever the news is coming in is news about something deceptive that has happened and has transpired so um be aware of this okay so you could be finding out something about um a gemini for some of you but this is coming up as ever whatever the news and whatever that is coming out um is going to be devastated because it's affecting you so what is this news all about um it's going to be positive or negative let's see what this news is all about it's news um that is going to affect you aquarians okay news is going to affect you aquarians so in the first week some of you are receiving positive news, but some of you could be receiving, and most of you Aquarians, um, because this is an air sign reading, 
and um, this news is going to affect the Aquarians that is coming out okay so we are going to be finding out what this news is all about so whatever this transpire and happen um, because it is a, um, a collective reading we always see look to see um, the conflicts is going to be over and I see some of you moving away from an issue or a situation so um, this is um, really really good so whatever the news is coming out because in um, the week of the 15th of um, or whatever time you pick this up whatever the news that is coming in is going to be helping some of you to move forward could be news of something ending okay and that is going to be good Gemini is the second week second week which is the week like ending Gemini is, you're going to be leaving something behind and looking for a new start so this is going to affect uh, the Gemini mostly that you're going to be leaving something behind and looking forward for something so what is transpiring here is that I see movement movement on the horizons whatever is transpiring I see movement um, on the horizon I see some of you Gemini at work you could be leaving your job and looking for something new okay so it's all about whatever is transpired some of you could be leaving your job and looking for something new so um i see some deceptiveness that is going around you your sign so you gotta be careful some of you are dealing with a situation where you have to make a decision but you will make the right decision okay whatever this decision is all about you will definitely make the right decision because whatever whatever this decision that is coming up or, you are going to be making the right decision for yourself okay so you could be making a decision about letting go of something someone or some issue or some is situation that was going on and I see you're going to really make the right decision and this is going to be good so what is coming up and bloody hell these cards are so small <laughs> I see a new start um, again there is going to be a really positive news coming up so whatever the issue and the situation is I see real positive alignment of energy real positive um, news is going to be coming up so um, some of you maybe have to make a decision to choose for yourself or a Leo I see you're going to be choosing for yourself so whatever that was transpiring and happening I see you're going to choose for yourself if you were looking for a job in the first week of February I see this job is coming in okay so let's say that you guys decide to look for a new job um, I see this new job is going to be coming in because I see this transition that is happening I see conflicts and this conflicts uh, um, is going to be affecting you guys but I see the Gemini winning these conflicts for the rest of you I see you're coming out of this conflicts maybe battered maybe bruised but whatever is happening and transpiring I know that you will make it through okay I know that you will make it through Sun sign there we go so conflicts 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 all around with um, you air signs are having so much conflicts but it's as if the magician comes in to say with all the conflicts you're going to be getting through the conflicts okay so the magician is going to be coming in to say with all the conflicts you're definitely going to be getting through these conflicts and it's going to be really wonderful and really beautiful because um what we're seeing ha happening here is that as we look at this uh, um, situation that is transpiring especially for you sun sign people it is that there is um, some communication that some of you were waiting on um, is going to be coming through and I see this communication is going to let you let go of something there is huge changes that is coming up you're three times five there's a lot of conflicts that is going to be coming up but I see you 
whatever decision you make I see you really making the right decision overcoming the conflicts and as you do that you're going to be coming out whatever situation that is happening with the work floor and um, whatever situation that is happening on the work floor some of you are just going to decide to just turn your back and let it go and move forward and as you choose to do that there is just a new job that is just going to be appearing to you and this is just going to be wonderful I see some positive news coming in about money but I see also that if you need to make a decision in this period it is going to be the right decision whatever decision you make it is going to be the right decision because you are going to be coming out on top so this is really really looking beautiful what other messages is there? There's going to be effect of work. So you guys are five and six, however way you want to use it, five and six. So um, five and six comes up for you guys. And this is um, really um, what I'm seeing is that some of you are going to be having this new start, looking for something new. And it has to do with work project business and I see whatever the a decision you choose to make this is going to be the correct decision it is a yes if you want to make any changes make it in the third week of um, after this listening to this reading alrighty okay ladies and gentlemen let's move on and check out to see what is going it's not a good time for love ladies and gentlemen so I forget to say that but it's not a good time for love okay whatever is transpiring not a good time for love let's look at the moon sign okay let's look at the moon sign here sign people not a good time for love ladies and gentlemen be aware of that so um, let's see what's happening for the moon sign here people okay Ooh, 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 yeah. All right. So I see an offer coming in. This is very beautiful, very wonderful. Um, so you moon sign have an offer. This offer could be different things. I see an offer coming in from an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. Um, this person could be between the age of 18 and 45. It has to do with work, okay. So if you were looking for work, if you weren't working, because obviously you weren't working, I see an offer coming in for you. But whatever the offer is, I see some secrecy that you're going to be finding out about work, okay? So remember, these are timeless readings. So whatever you pick this up, it's just the right time for you as an individual to have this. So what is transpiring is that if you were... Uh, you know uh, um, open for something uh, open for an offer or that sort of a thing I see this offer is definitely definitely going to be coming in and what I see transpiring here is that um, however something is going to be offered to you guys whether it's his work whether it's his love whether um, some of you could be also getting a shell some of you could be um, um, you know however this offer is coming up I see you're dealing with an um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay and this is someone between the age of 18 and 45 it has to do with something to do with work or with a project with a business so be aware of this so let's see what is coming up for you moon air sign yes something unexpectedly i see some of you your parents your mom could be offering to help you i'm seeing a nurture it's like someone is going to be offering you or nurturing you because they realize something that has gone really bad and that has transpired so it could be a mother figure that is coming in and it's going to be helping you out in whatever the issue is whatever the situation that you're dealing with or it could be just an older person or people in general who has seen some deceptiveness all right some of you ladies are definitely going to be getting pregnant there is no question about it some of you ladies are definitely going to be getting um pregnant so whenever the two um the two the offer the two of ones and the empress is that some of you are definitely going to be getting pregnant so be aware of this okay all right so 
what I see here I see a message definitely some of you are going to be getting pregnant so um whenever do you see this whenever the two of wands and the empress and uh, look who is here this is a baby okay the cliver is always the baby the cliver is always a child so i'm seeing some of you dealing with issues some of you if you could not get pregnant i see that this month you are going to be getting pregnant some of you i see um an offer of an apology coming in um and it's some um some offer of apology is going to be coming in to some of you because of some deceptiveness so um if you realize that you were overcharged or that sort of a thing i see an apology for something that has transpired and i see that they're going to be trying to pay you some money to keep it ush 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 okay they're trying to they're going to try to pay you some money to keep it ush 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 so something transpired that is going to be happening ladies who can't be pregnant all of a sudden you're going to be finding out um in this full moon that you are pregnant some of you are dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius person whoever this person is they can be between the ages of 18 and 50. now whoever this person is i see um that you really are, are stepping back from this person you're stepping back from this person you're taking break from this person you are holding um your guards against this person for the moment and you need to rethink something so whoever this knight of wands is and whoever this sort of an energy but just definitely a person because um it's definitely a person coming up here some of you are going to be dealing with this person and it's an aries leo or sagittarius now this person could be an aries because um and it's a young aries between the age of 18 and 45 so this could be a child this could be someone you're dealing with now whatever the issue and the situation is is that this person has been coming at you and you're like kind of keeping this person off at me so it could be someone who wants to reunite with you that sort of a thing but whoever this person is i see you keeping them at base because it's as if they drain your energies so. all right so we have the ace of one i see you um going to be receiving a message from this person and this is what i'm saying this person you're trying to keep at base because whoever this person is it could be someone on the work floor it could be your child it could be a sister a sibling a friend you're trying to keep them at base because you're receiving message from this person and it is it is as if and it's it's as if i'm so tired you know just give me a break that sort of energy is coming out and it is definitely someone you're dealing with because people cards i read them as people they're not energies there are people who are carrying the fire energy or could be having a passionate energy it could be someone who's passionate about you and you're not passionate about them so that sort of a situation is happening we have the energy of the eight of pentacles in reverse and there is a situation some of you might not have any um might not be working i see communication is going to be coming in about that so if you were waiting on communication about work a new project a new business contract i see that is going to be coming in um uh, okay yes so some of you could be also thinking about uh, um leaving your work behind and communicating this so some of you could be starting a new job in um in um like the first week of february around that time but this is actually very good because it's going to be affecting uh, um it's going to be affecting the aquarians okay but i see the rest of you like communicating and speaking up so this is going to be really wonderful and really positive all right so some information is going to be coming out whatever secrets has been kept from you guys is definitely going to be coming out whatever that was transpiring um around you where you weren't aware of what was happening these secrets these deceptiveness is definitely going to be coming out and it's going to be fabulous because you're going to be aware of what has been transpired i think some of you already had figure out what has been transpiring but i see this energy because 
what is transpiring is that I see the three of pentacles. I see a lot of collaborations is coming in. So it's as if some of you, um, whenever these two energies comes up together, these are female energies that is going to be comforting and helping some of you. Some of you could be collaborating with other females. Um, and some of you are going to be um, receiving help and finding out something from other female. Whatever the secrets that was going on and transpiring, this is going to be over because I see someone coming in. And um, it could be a Capricorn that is going to be breaking out and saying exactly what was happening. Okay, so it could be a Capricorn that is going to be breaking out and saying exactly what was happening. So the overall energy is that it's all about some of you who were, you know, hoping and wishing to get pregnant. It's going to be happening. So be aware of that. Then we have situations with work. Um, this is going to be affecting um, the um, Aquarians. Um, I see you're going to be have to be communicating. Um, some of you are just protecting yourself um, from an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. However, this person is coming up. This person is coming up at, from at Aries, but I see a lot of you are just resting. Um, you just need some inner rest and inner peace, okay? So let's look at in general to see what is coming up in the houses. Remember that Aquarians, your house is the 11th house. Gemini, your house is the third house. Um, Librans, your house is uh, the eighth house. All right, so let's see what is coming up. 9, 10. Remember, Aquarians, your house is the 11th house. Okay, Aquarians, your house is the 11th, 11th house. All righty. So, um, um, Gemini, your house is the third house. Remember that. Okay, you gotta remember where your house stands, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Aquarians, you're the 11th. Gemini, you are the third. Okay, Librans, you are the seventh. Okay, Librans, you are in the seventh house. All right, so first of all, let's look at the energy of what is going to be coming up for you guys, all right? And how this is going to affect you guys. So let's look in the first house from self. What planetary aspect? Ooh, that first house from self is there a lot. So that's going to be beautiful. Second house, I see Uranus, some changes coming in your financial situation. Third house, um, Gemini's, you're going to be dealing with some interruption that is going to be coming up in your life fourth house is uh pluto there's changes in your family situation um fifth house is a house of passion communication between your friends is going to be coming up um your house of creativity i see is going to be changing there is changes where Neptune is in the house of the Librans. The Librans, unseen things are going to be happening. Listen to your spirit guides. So that is good. Um, clear, and you're going to be healing a situation with scorpions, you guys, whatever is going on. I see you healing a situation with scorpions or with your in people who you're intimate with. Okay. Um, if you have business, I see Jupiter helping your business. Uh, um to be good okay the ascendance outlook is in the 10th house so um aquarians aquarians um the ascendance outlook is in your house the north node is in the 11th house the 11th house is when you come to the edge with a situation and then you're going to be finding out what it is you were meant to be and went to do now in the 12th house, the 12th house is a house of surrender. It's a house of dreams. It's a house of forgiveness. Uh, it's the house of letting go baggage, the Akashic records. And you are going to be working out something with someone you truly love. Okay? So, 
Wow. Actually, it's not bad, to be honest. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of healing, especially in the House of Intimacy, there's a lot of healing. Now, um, the House of Self, I think a lot of you are going to be finding yourself. Whatever is to inspire, I think a lot of you are really going to be finding yourself, and that is going to be good. So, um, Gemini's, your house is the third house, and it is... Um, there is the Mars energy, okay? I see some of you, uh, a Capricorn is going to be helping um, some of you out, okay? Um, however way that is happening, I see a Capricorn could be helping some of you out. So there are really um, positive alignment of energy that is going to be transpiring. So I see the energy of a Capricorn maybe helping out some of you. So in the self, I see unexpectedness. Um, I see your boss. Um, some of you, um, your boss could be helping you out. Um, if your boss is a Capricorn, this person um, is going to be helping you out. Okay. Um, this is an energy where a Capricorn is going to be teaching you to stand up. Um, a Capricorn is going to be helping you to bring back luck in your life. So. Um, an understanding of who you are because this is the self so it's about you as a person okay so this is good because you're going to be taking back your reign um there is going to be some lucky action that is going to be coming in where a capricorn is going to be helping you now the second house is the house of uh, the second house is the house of your financial okay and what is happening here is that i see changes is coming in so if you have business overseas and this is what is coming up if you have business overseas and that sort of a thing i see unexpected luck is going to be coming in anything to do with foreign situation i see unexpected luck is going to be coming in so um this is um definitely good so i see your financial situation i see unexpectedly you're going to be receiving um, some luck overseas however that is playing out for you I see happiness and joy is going to be coming in and um, whenever um, Sagittarius is in your second house that means it is in your house of money materialistic stability okay Gemini you gotta look out the third house you Gemini this is your house I see an ending coming in between you and a Virgo okay or it could be an ending coming in with something that you have created, okay? So whatever is transpiring, I see something with health. I see changes with um, your health. So Gemini, just um, take a look. Um, it could be changes at work. I see you, Gemini, are going to be working out a lot, but it might affect your health, so be aware of this because this is coming up. I see your sex drive is going to be very high, you Gemini. So, um, and I see whatever you're creating or whatever, there could be um, a transition that is happening because you have more the uh, Mars and Virgo. Mars and Virgo, as Virgo has to do with the creative side of who you are, but it has to do with something that you're working on creative. I see um, when the energy of Mars is here and um, Virgo could be moving out of your life or a Virgo at your work could be leaving or a Virgo let you are leaving your work for some reason. So be aware. Okay. Mars is about the energy of fire. It's about the energy of Aries. Okay. So it's all about work. Now the fourth house is the house of family and I see some of you are dealing with a cancer as a family member. I see this person is going to be removed out of your life, okay? Whoever this cancer is, so who has connected with you as a family, or um, this could be a parent, a sister, a brother, a wife, a husband. Um, this is someone who was married in the family or so. They are going to be leaving your family. So um, I'm hoping that it's not a debt um that is going to be transpiring okay let's move on the house of pleasure has to do with friendships and 
people who you enjoy um, it could be also the area of affair so I see communication with a Pisces so some of you could be and is going to be communicating with a Pisces okay and um, if it's not a Pisces it's going to be about imagination dreaming some of you could be receiving message via your dream time some mystical alliances of energies and situation is going to definitely happen and I see mysticism of communication so it's always via the dream time so some of you are it could be having a friendship with a Pisces and I see that communication between you and the Pisces is going to be um, getting back on track now the sixth house is the house of uh, um, your craft whatever you create it's also the house of uh, work health and well-being um, your daily routines and what we have here is uh, Saturn is removing an Aries out of your life uh, once and for all so Saturn is going to be removing an Aries whoever this Aries is uh, out of your life Saturn is coming in and ripping this person out of your life um, um, so it could be uh, Aries on the work floor uh, Aries um, who go to your sports club however uh, this could be a sister or brother who's living with you is just gonna be removed out of the house or um, but this has to do with an Aries who has been affecting you in your daily routine and in your life I see um, um, Saturn is coming and ripping and when Saturn comes to bring uh, or remove uh, this is radical okay so the Aries is radical and Saturn when Saturn is shaking up and is in your house it's just gonna be ripping the person or the situation out that no longer serves you when we look at Librans okay Librans so Librans um, what we see here is that some of you Librans are going to be communicating through the dream time a lot of dreams are coming in I see the Librans and the Gemini's are really working together um, at this time it is beautiful it's a beautiful collaboration that is going to be coming up I see vocals I see study I see um, flexibility so I see a sort of a dreamlike empathy and working together for you Librans. so Librans, this is going to be good I see um, the Gemini that is coming up and I see um, you're gonna be very dreamy where you're receiving information through the dream time or through your intuition I see you connecting with Gemini's Gemini's are going to be helping you um, to release whatever issues that you're having so this is just going to be beautiful as we look at the house of intimacy I see an Elin that is coming up so if some of you um, especially an Elin for the Aquarians so in your intimacy area if there was no love if there was no um, love coming in or you're trying to heal yourself because you feel bad that someone didn't want to have you or however this is coming up it could be the ending of, of a marriage of a breakup and it's going to be a really fit, um, helping and healing the Aquarians okay because it is the house of intimacy so it has to do with your partner now business and it has to do with sex business contracts and that sort of a thing the rest of you it's going to affect you whether in business investment contracts and that sort of a thing secrets mystery and that sort of a thing so I see Elin where um, if there was secrets I see this is going to be resolved but Aquarians this Elin is really going to affect the Aquarians the rest of you I see um, like your financial situation is going to be healed and that sort of a thing but the 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 Aquarians um, the Elin in the intimacy area is going to affect um, the Aquarians okay so 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 Aquarians ninth house the ninth house Jupiter is in the ninth house Ooh. all right so um a lot of you are going to be having luck with a Taurus okay and Taurus if you are in business with a Taurus you're gonna be very lucky um I see your business is gonna be expanded if you have a business and um, it, whoever is listening to this and you have a business go check out um, quantum healing business because I think they do also a full moon 
on business okay so um go check them out and see what is coming up so um good news is coming in whatever issue situation is um when it comes to foreign um things that is is um spirituality the quest of spirituality religion and that sort of a thing if you're in that if you're writing a book if you have published a book um it's going to be good now aquarians your 10th house aquarian your 10th house of repetition is here and i see um whatever is transpiring you aquarians whether or not you are having legal issue I um I see you dealing with issues with your husband or wife, your relationship, that sort of a thing is definitely coming in. Harmony could be returning in your life for some of you, Aquarian. It is looking good because it's a balance, the 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 the, the idealistic, but um no, it's in your house of reputation. Okay. All right, so um again, um Aquarians, you're definitely going to be seeing, and all of you are going to be finding your true north. Okay, it's as if um, a scorpion is going to be coming in and uh, point out your true north. So let's say a lot of transition. This is in the eleventh house, eleventh house of the Aquarians. So I see the Aquarians helping you, Gemini's and Librans, so, um, to bring some balance, especially with a scorpion so some of you could be having issues with a scorpion and i see you aquarians coming in and teaching um the liberals and the gemini how to find their true north to deal with a situation with a scorpion and this is going to be good so i uh, hear i see the house the 12th house some of you could be forgiven a past love some of you are definitely going to be forgiven a past love um whoever this past love is I see it is a karmatic situation that some of you were dealing with um, with a past lover and you're going to be surrendering it okay so you ear sign if you had an ex you're going to be surrendering this but on the other side I see some of you could be meeting new people and it is a really going to be healing old relationship through these new people and it's going to be brilliant okay all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is so, so beautiful. Remember to use the link below. And uh, for the Aquarians, you can use the link below to check out your extended readings. I love you guys. I want to say namaste until next time.